Hey guys, it's your more girl and welcome back to my channel. Today's DIY is going to be a Z Gallery inspired wall art. I was checking out some wall arts from Z Gallery and you know guys, you know we're spending like $700 to $1,000 for these pieces. So I saw this one piece that caught my eye. So when I checked on the site, I'm really loving this piece. It has glitter in the middle and it has a gradation. So I went to Michael's and got me a 22 by 28 um, canvas. So this is going to be hung in my bedroom. And it'll be a part of my bedroom tour when it's finally done. I know you guys have been waiting for a while. So I'm going to do it in a horizontal instead of vertical because I needed to go the width almost to the TV. And also it's going to go for a gradation. I'm not exactly going to do what the gallery did. I'm not going to go from gray all the way to white. I'm going to alter it a little bit, but I'm going to use also the crushed glass that I use in my resin art for my living room. I'm going to use that same crushed glass in the middle along with the glitter. All right, guys, so let's get started. Okay, now these are the items I will be using for today's project. I have a stodium silver metallic finish, and I will be using this over the canvas. I will coat the whole entire canvas, this metallic silver. Then here you see is the crushed glass, and you see me use this in other projects previously. And it is sort of like a mirror effect. It has silvers, it has some clear, and it has some black specks of glass in it. Now the black paint, I'm not sure, but I pulled it out. This is a nice silver. It's sort of like a steel color gray. Then I have a medium gray and I have a little lighter gray and then I have of course my white on this side I have my glitter that I got from Walmart and this is like a little of a chunkier glitter and then I have my fine ones again I'm not sure if I'm going to use the black one but I do have my white and my silver and I have two of my brushes this I'll be using that brush to do a dry stroke pattern Now I'm taking my canvas outside and you see it's covered um, on my small patio and I'm spraying with the metallic. I'm spraying the whole thing and this doesn't have to be like super um, even all over because of course it's going to be painted on top. But you really, really want that silver base because when you do the dry strokes, that silver shine is going to come through and you're going to see it. All right, so after I finish that, I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to take it inside. All right, guys, so now I have this painted. And I am going to go with, I'm not going to do the black like I originally said I was going to do. I'm going to use this Silver Art Deco. And it is a nice, pretty color. And I'm just going to do it. It's already silver. It doesn't have to be even because you've got to kind of paint over it. And then I'm just going to do strokes. And then... Add a little bit of this, you know, and then add a little bit of white, and then the middle will be the crushed glass and glitter. All right, so this is the color I'm going to start with. So this is Extreme Shine, this is Art Deco, and this is exactly what it looks like. I am going to use this one. I'm not going to use this paintbrush here because I don't have to because of the fact that this is already sprayed. Now, if I didn't spray that, I would have used it. So I'm just going to dab, tap it out, and then just stroke it. Tap it out because the metallic is going to come through going to stroke it and I want to have uneven strokes sort of like this and then you can always do long ways I like that go from the outer to the edge and go inwards tap and then see how I'm making uneven strokes? Oh. 
And make sure the lines are straight. You don't want crooked lines. those strokes. You see them? And then when these strokes come in, you can always add other colors and then continue the strokes this way. And then a white to continue the strokes this way and then the glitter in the middle. And you can make the strokes as long as you want. technique. No, I'm just stroking it again until it's kind of dry, just really long strokes. And some lines are longer and sometimes some lines are thicker. Now I'm gonna do the other side come in this direction. I change my paint. Let me just make sure I shake this. Because I'd rather have it thick than money. I'm not gonna wash it. So what I'm gonna do now, again, is very thick, so I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit. Brush it off and continue this way. Just real light strokes. Okay. And that's all I'm gonna do with this one because I don't want a whole lot of this. And then I'm gonna brush stroke it out. Dry it off. And again, and this is very opaque. So you want it to blend out this one and then you just continue on top of it to tone it down. You still want to see some of it, so you kind of want it streaky. See? and you do it in several layers. So when that dries a little bit, then you can add a little bit more. So, I'm just toning down some of that gray. Okay, so this is the front. So I have the gradation going from the silver to the lighter. I didn't add the white because the other gray was light enough. Now, it doesn't have to be even because you see how, especially that gray, the spray paint is still popping through. Okay, that's why you want to do those bright dress, 
that's why you want to do those dry brush strokes and you don't want it too heavy and the lighter gray was a little opaque so I had to go over it again just to tone it down and you can see how it kind of blends back and forth now in the center is going to be the crushed glass and the glitters so because I have to use epoxy because it's strong enough to hold the bond now you can't use mod podge with this because it's not going to be strong enough and the crushed glass will come down now if you just did glitter it's okay using mod podge but for the crushed glass it is much too heavy you need an epoxy all right guys i'm gonna demonstrate again so when i'm trying to tone down some of the lighter gray so i'm dabbing I'm going long ways. See the brush? Strokes like that. And then once I do strokes like that, like really find where it is, then I turn my brush this way and just dry it out. Real light brush, just dry it out. You see, and it kept the strokes. So I went this way and then I went this way. So. Here we go. Almost done. You just see a couple pieces here I want to tone down. And then just brush it off. All right, now, when I do the epoxy, I'm gonna brush stroke it the same way, just like this. And then just like salt, I'm just gonna sprinkle like this, then the different glitters in the middle. All right, so let's get that epoxy made, guys. Just so you know, I'll be using this epoxy here, the glazed coat that I used before on that other resin art. So again, this is for countertops, guys, and I got this at the Home Depot for $22.99. All right, guys, so now I'm ready for part two of this project. Everything looks dry, everything looks good. The way it swirls back and forth is just the way I want it. So now I have my crushed glass. I have my glitter. I'm not gonna use a whole lot of this. I'm not a really big fan of this for this project. I'm not gonna use the black, but I'm gonna use the iridescent, the real fine ones. All right, so, and I have my, um, so I have this, excuse me for going over you like this, is just an awkward way to be. All right, so this is all stirred. Okay, don't forget, when using this epoxy, don't forget to use gloves. All right, so I poured it in a disposable bowl. I can feel it warming up now. So basically, I'm just going to go in the middle, and this is, and stroke it. Okay, I want this in the middle. Okay, like this. First, because I need this epoxy to adhere, zigzag it a little like this. So I don't want it completely even. Now the one in um, the gallery is even. I want this brush stroke just like I did before. I want the glitter a little just going back and forth. Okay, so. All right, so I want this to come out. Right. All right, now I'm going to take this and just like if I put salt on it, Sprinkle. Any gaps that you see, just 
just sprinkle. Too. and then that's it and then I want to add the fine and I want this to kind of come out so now or that's it again I'm doing mostly the outsides of it and then when I lift it what doesn't I hear it would just fall off seasoning that's all it is there's nothing to be alrighty guys so this is it so I'm gonna let this sit for a while to dry so I have my crushed glass we have our brush strokes we have our gray um, glitter and we have our iridescent glitter so I think it came out really really nice so I just sit and let this dry for a little bit because when it does that it adheres to the epoxy because the epoxy has to dry and once the epoxy dries and it adheres to the crushed glass, that's it. So now we're going to stand this baby up. All right, so now we're ready to stand it up. And when we stand it up, you will see how the excess will fall down and just shake it off. And that's all it is, guys. Look at that. I think it came out absolutely gorgeous. You can see the strokes. You can see the swipes, the silver. You can see the light gray. You can see the texture. And I changed it a little bit and made it a little chunkier because I want to see more texture in this painting than just the glitter in the painting. All right, guys, well, I hope you like this project and I hope one of you guys try it. It wasn't that bad. But again, Ikea had to crush glass. I don't know if they still sell it. If not, just check on Amazon. Okay, guys, just let me know what you think. All right, thanks for watching. It's your more girl.